Marc Marquez will ride a 2023 spec Ducati during the 2024 MotoGP season, putting him on this year's bike that is likely to win the title. The eight-time world champion will ride something other than a Honda for the first time in his MotoGP career, after completing his blockbuster move from Repsol to Grazini last week. Clearly the best all-around package on the grid, Marquez is moving to Ducati at a time where their success has been unstoppable. Yes, KTM and Aprilia have had their moments, however, the consistency of the 2023 bike and even the 2022 package in the hands of Marco Bezzecchi has been too strong to defeat. Although Bezzecchi still has a chance of winning the 2023 title, it appears to be a straight fight between Francesco Bagnaia and Jorge Martin, both of whom are aboard the bike Marquez will ride next season. Going from the worst package on the grid, Marquez said this about his switch during the Indonesian round. Next year will be interesting. In the end, I will have the bike that is going to win this year's championship. I am going to have the 2023 bike, but I don't know how the evolution of it will be. Marc Marquez will be aboard the same spec bike as teammate Alex Marquez, Bezzecchi and Luca Marini. While Bagnaia, Martin, Inia Bastianini and Franco Morbidelli will all be riding the new 2024 machine. Miguel Oliveira has opened the door to joining Honda after admitting he wants a factory MotoGP ride as soon as possible. Oliveira is said to be atop Honda's list of targets to replace Marc Marquez, with an approach already thought to have taken place. Maverick Vinales has also been mentioned as a target, however, Oliveira has publicly said that there is a way out of his current deal with RNF Aprilia, making him a consideration for the Japanese brand. Speaking to MotoGP.com, Oliveira said, it's a privilege to be considered by a factory like Honda. The goal for every rider is to be on a factory seat in a factory team and with the prospects of growing together. I want it to happen as soon as possible. Satellite riders are enjoying more success than ever before in MotoGP, as highlighted by Alex Rins, Marco Bezzecchi, Jorge Martin and Alex Marquez, all of whom have won races in 2023. Riders like Martin and Rins have done so aboard full factory machinery, but that doesn't take away from their success, while someone like Bezeki has been just as impressive given he's third in the standings on a year-old machine. Oliveira, who has also flashed potential on last year's RS GP22 bike, feels as though satellite teams are a good place to be although joining a factory team is still his main objective. The thing is, in MotoGP now, the factory seat doesn't mean you perform better, added Oliveira. We saw in recent years that non-factory riders, meaning riders that are on satellite teams with factory bikes are able to be in the top 5 in the championship, even top 3. I think a factory ride is helpful in the sense that he can grow and have as much support as a factory can give when you maybe don't have the best package.